welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will learn about master slave sr flip flops using multisim tool before going into the simulation and the design of sr flip flop i request you to like share subscribe to my channel below the master slave sr flip flops are constructed using two gated SR latches and an inverter and this particular representation has been shown in this logic diagram. The information line S and R are used to set and reset the flip-flops and the clock signal that is C is applied to control the input line. As long as C is equal to 0, the master being a gated SR latch is disabled and changes on S and R line is ignored. At the same time, the slave is enabled due to the presence of an inverter. The slave is in same state as that of a master since, since the Q and QN outputs of master is connected to the S and R line of the slave. When the control signal is equal to 1, the master being a gated SR latch responds to the input on the S and R line and since the slave is disabled due to the presence of inverter, any changes to state of master are not reflected to the slave. Let us start the simulation of SR flip-flop. So click on file and click on new and select the PLD design and click on create empty PLD and click on next. Name this as SR flip-flop and click on finish. We must create an SR latch and we will call this SR latch for our flip-flop design. Click on place logic gate and for the SR latch design we require four two input NAND gate. So select the NAND gate and place this on the schematic window. Now connect the output of NAND gate 2 to the input of NAND gate 4 and the output of NAND gate 4 must be connected to one of the input of NAND gate 2. Connect the NAND gate 1 to input of NAND gate 2 and Connect the NAND gate 3 to the input of NAND gate 2. Next, connect the input of NAND gate 1 to input of NAND gate 3. Next, click on input connector which will be our S, R and enable input. So, place 3 input connector and Name this input connector as S, R and enable.
connect the input S to NAND gate 1 and connect the input R to NAND gate 3 and connect the enable to the input of NAND gate 1 and NAND gate 2. Next, we have to place an output connector. Click on output connector and place the output connector on the output of NAND gate 2 and NAND gate 4. Now double click on output connector and change the name of the connector as Q and QN. Now click on file and save this particular file. So I will not save this particular file since I already have an existing SR latch schematic. So I will just call that particular SR latch schematic for my design purpose. So you guys can go ahead and save this particular file where you have to call this in your design. Now for the SR flip flop, let us call the SR latch using the hierarchical block file and now select the gated SR latch and place two SR latch on the PLD schematic. So we will have a master SR latch and a slave SR latch in this scenario and also for the SR flip flop we must have a inverter as well as the digital constant input for the simulation purpose. Now click on place digital source and we have to place a interactive digital constant. So we have to place two interactive digital constant which is S and which is R. Now we must also place a digital clock for this particular SR flip flop. So click on digital clock and place this on the schematic window. Now connect the interactive digital constant. So the interactive digital constant S and R must be connected to the input S and R of the latch and also connect the clock to the enable pin. Next double click on the key and change the key for toggle to S and also similarly change the other key to R. Also change the frequency of the clock as 1 hertz and click OK. Next click on place logic and select the inverter. Place this particular inverter on the schematic window. This inverter would enable the slave when the clock goes low. Now connect the clock to the inverter and the output of the inverter to enable of slave. Now to determine the output of SR flip flop we have to place a probe. So click on probe and place this particular digital probe on the schematic. So we require two probes in order to determine the Q and QN output of the flip flop. We will also place a digital probe on the output of an inverter. This would help us to determine when the clock goes high and 
clock goes low. Now you can see the SR flip-flop function table. So let us analyze by running the simulation. Now the input S and R is equal to 0 and the clock falls from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 0. The output of flip-flop, the next state of the device is same as the present state and the output do not change and the present state is retained. Now we will assume that 1 is applied to the R input and 0 is applied to the S input. The output Q becomes 0 and QN as 1. Thus the flip-flop is being reset. Even though the R returns to 0, the flip-flop retains its present state as shown in this simulation. Now if 1 is applied to S input and 0 is applied to R input then the flip-flop becomes set regardless of the present state. Now if both the input that is S and R equal to 1 the flip-flop state is undefined and such input conditions are forbidden. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.